And joining us now, Kerry Balaga, who just qualified for the second time for what will be Champs National Championship. So, Kerry, welcome. Thank you. Uh, good race for you yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it was really exciting. Um, I have came off of a really um, hard stretch, sort of. I mean, um, it's been six really exciting weeks of racing, and um, this week will be my first week of not racing, um, or first weekend, actually. So um, yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, I had some, some really nice competition to uh, get ready for next week, and um, I'm super excited to be headed back for my third time. Um, it's really exciting. I mean, uh, San Diego is an awesome experience, and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. Carrie, why are you so excited? You know, I mean, we know it's fun to go race and all of that, but what gets you excited about getting back there? Yeah, I mean, um, just the whole experience um, that I've had there, it has been awesome. Um, meeting new people and getting to race at, um, with, obviously, new girls every year. Um, just everything about it is so, is so exciting, and it's a perfect way to end your cross-country season. That's true. Now, Carrie, you've done really well. I mean, uh, 11th and 4th, and so that that's unusual to do really well every year, and you're going in your third year. So to ask you what you would do different is kind of a misnomer because you've done it so well. So what are you looking at? So you've got two years of experience now. Anything that you want to kind of, I think I could do this a little bit different this year? I mean, I definitely think with um, two years of national championship experience um, and being a couple years older than when I started, um, I think just the way that um, I, I see the race um, with my goals, I think that sort of changes because I'm a little bit older now and that's sort of the way that it works. I mean, now it's it's my time uh, since it's the last time. So um, you sort of have different ideas and goals going into it. Um, but usually the experience um, sort of sways the way that you tackle the race. So that won't really change. But um, I guess just the goals and the outcome is uh, definitely the biggest piece. Well, you're coming into nationals this year as a state champion again. But this time you broke the state record by somebody that we know pretty well at Foot Locker. <laughs> yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Um, so, I mean, every race has led up to, um, where I am now. Um, each, each race I've always tried to just build and get better as I go. Um, and every, I feel like every time I've sort of, and every race, even throughout the season, I've looked, um, through many of the all time lists and I've definitely made my mark on a lot of those. I mean, I went to Manhattan um, I am fifth on the all-time list now, which was one of my biggest goals. I broke 14 minutes. Um, I went to Burnt Hills. I got the course record, which was super exciting. Um, and then after that, I had uh, Bear Mountain, which was one of my biggest goals going throughout the season was I want to make my mark for my last time, which was my eighth time going to Bear Mountain for championship season. Um, I ran... 16, 18 for a three mile course, um, which was awesome. And I got the section nine record and the school record. Um, and everything has just been going super great from there. I mean, taking one step at a time and just really enjoying it um, as I go. So from there, um, I've tried to peek my way into the all time lists and um, I'm just having a lot of fun doing it. So I think you broke though. You've had Ashley a great Cox. Year. Oh, oh Ashley sorry, Tim. Cox, yes. I was. I think she broke Ashley Cuff's record at Section 9, and she won Foot Locker in 2010 or something like that. That's a pretty big name and an awesome time to beat. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, and the, another thing about San Diego and running at the National Championship is that there are so many girls that have came through, um, and just to be able to see, like, that is like where we are right now. And that's, I'd say that's pretty awesome. And um, to fill the shoes of um, Sydney Mascarelli and Marley Starliper and Angelina Perez, like that is awesome. I mean, and now that's me, like I'm in their shoes now. So um, to be able to make their mark and fill, fill their shoes is uh, pretty awesome. 
Well, you certainly can do that. That's for sure. So you're healthy as can be. You think you've had a good year. You have a little time to rest. So this could be a special nationals for you, huh? Yeah, this is going to be pretty awesome. <laughs> Very good. Hey, well, just to make it, uh, not rubbing it in, but give you something to look forward to. It was a little cold here today. It almost got under 70. It was 72 today. Wow. So are you going to be able to handle that cool weather here? Yeah, we're going to we're going to be fine. We've uh we've had some some great weather here, so we're going to be we're going to be good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Gary. We look forward to seeing you again. Looking forward to watching your race. It's exciting. You've had such a good year and you had a a great regional and you'll be in San Diego. It'll be exciting to see you again. Yeah, thank you so much.